Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got the past lives or the moon card over here. So you could be running into somebody from the past that you've known and somebody that you got along pretty well with. Uh, so something coming out uh, from the past um, Maybe, you know, an old friend or some kind of an old acquaintance. This um, past lives card is also about being a little bit uh, confused about what is going on and feeling a little bit down or feeling a bit depressed. You've been going through some kind of transformation recently. You've got that uh, death card over there. So big changes have happened. And maybe this has caused you to uh, feel a bit down. But it's a new cycle beginning for you, something brand new starting. So maybe you have to look to the past, maybe even... Uh, you know, go and do some research into the past or look into your past life, really, uh, as, w as to what you've done to find out how to deal with this transformation that is coming in for you. And also, you know, you've had to let go of things and move on to something new. But you're starting off afresh, and this looks like it's... Um, this is the page of uh, pentacles, so a brand new uh, cycle starting, something brand new that's coming in for you here, uh, and it's got this rainbow of colors over here, so it's going to bring in something really interesting, uh, you know, you starting this new project, maybe even starting a new job, starting afresh somewhere, um, and it's going to be something that's very exciting for you. So let go of the past, because something brand new and very exciting coming in for you. You've got the master over here and flowering, so you might have been doing some studying in the past over here, uh, learning a lot so maybe you finished just finished uh, training uh, or maybe even finished university and um, now things are starting to look up you've got the flowering card of here which is the queen of pentacles so maybe there's a new job offer that you've just taken on and you've started to work with that and that is starting to blossom for you You've had to let go of that past, so big transformation has come, so big changes have come into your life. Now, going into the future, you've got the exhaustion card, so you are going to be doing uh, a lot of hard work, uh, and that is going to make you pretty tired. So make sure you're getting uh, adequate rest, or adequate breaks, uh, you know, and dealing with a lot of issues, really, with that, uh, this is the nine of frauds, so dealing with a lot of uh, problems, but be strategic, you might need to get some help, uh, and you need to hang in there and go for it, so even though it seems like, uh, you know, it's going to be really, really hard going, uh, you know, there is victory in the end with that card, so whatever you're starting over there is going to require a lot of hard work, uh, but it will pay off eventually, and it's going to mean you're working very independently as well. You've got the conscious card over here, which is the ace of swords, and there's that breakthrough coming in for you a lot of clarity a lot of insight and being able to sort things out and conquering any problems you might even be signing new job contracts with this you've got that third eye activated over there so a lot of insight uh, a new strategy coming in for you. you need to think up new plans and new ways of doing things and you know um, use the information that you have to work effectively so those are the uh, energies for that week So I'm using the Anna Kay uh, tarot for the main read. Let's take that up. <laughs> okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Swords. So you're dealing with some kind of unhealthy, uh, deceptive situation. There might be some theft, so just watch your items, your, your belongings. But you could also be dealing with a lot of people doing things that are very underhand. Uh, so just be careful of that. There might be a, you know, people stealing ideas from you. If you're dealing with any kind of legal situation that involves money, because you've got that sword sitting in the bag of coins over there, uh, they might, you might be dealing with people that use uh, you know, dishonest means of getting um, victory in that situation. So just be aware of that. There's a lot of lies and deceit going on around you. And there is some kind of legal case that you're waiting for. You've got that uh, Knight of Swords coming in over here. So there's been a lot of drama that has been going on over here. Everything is on fire over there. Uh, and there's a decision that is coming in, or you're waiting for some kind of official decision to come in. But it looks like you're going to be victorious in it. You've got that Nine of Cups uh, immediately uh, below it. So uh, even though there's a lot of lies and deceit, and you're dealing with a, some kind of legal issue or some kind of law, um, you know, it looks like whatever that decision is, it's going to be a victorious, you're going to be victorious in 
in it because there's a lot of celebration coming in after that. So in the past, you've been very, very stressed. You've got the Nine of Swords over here feeling very, very unhappy or very, very anxious, not sleeping well at night. Um, you've got that ending uh, of that cycle because you've got that new moon over here. So you might be waiting for that legal decision. You had to deal with a lot of conflict, a lot of problems, a lot of tower moments over here coming in. Uh, and it seems like you know, it's left you feeling very, very anxious. So in the past few months, you've got the Three of Rods. You've been working with a group of people on some kind of project. Maybe it's got an international flavor to it. You've been putting out there. Or maybe you've also been doing a lot of travel recently as well. You've got the chariot card over there. Oops. Let's put that up. You've got the chariot card over there that's showing that you want to travel. You really want to relocate. You're determined to get things done. You're very ambitious. Uh, and it looks like things are going to be a success, but there's a lot of hard work that's going to come in with it. But that's on your mind at the moment. Now, you've got the King of Pentacles. So there might be a new job offer coming in for you here, and that's going to bring in a lot of money. You've got this King of Pentacles holding that coin over here. So a nice uh, offer coming in for you as far as the work front goes. And it looks like it's a position of authority, and it's also going to be uh, something that generates a lot of finances. So a very well-paid job there coming up for you. You've got the Nine of Rods over here, so you have been working extremely hard, working in isolation, and you know you feel like you're at, you know, at the end of your uh, rope, really. Uh, you really do feel as though you're exhausted from whatever you've been doing. You've been trying to establish your stability over there, but there's been a lot of obstacles. You can see that cloud sky is very cloudy over there, so you've been going through a lot of traumas, really, and feeling very alone, very unsupported right now, and having to defend yourself all along the way. Now, you've got the Four of Cups over here. So there is some kind of offer that is going to be coming for you. Now, you might be bored with whatever you're doing right now, but that offer is coming in for you. Uh, maybe it's not going to be the one that you want, but it's definitely going to be something that brings you uh, what you need. <laughs> so sometimes we don't get what we want, but we do get what we need. Um, so there is that offer coming in with that Four of Cups, uh, and it's going to establish some kind of stability for you. So in your hopes and fears, you've got the star card. So, you know, you are looking for some kind of guidance. You are looking for some kind of, um, you know, trying to make a plan. You're trying to find some direction in your life here with the star. And with the star card, there's generally luck coming in. So maybe that's what you're hoping for. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the two of rods, the wheel of fortune, and you've got the tower card. So the two of rods, it's at the crossroads in your life, trying to make a decision about what to choose next, which project to choose. He's got two rods in his hands, and he's at that crossroads uh, trying to decide. And you are very, very anxious about this. You know, you are really uh, puzzling over what to do, really deliberating about what to do. So there's that big choice. The Wheel of Fortune seems like it's going to come in and change or shift things. And it's going to bring a very dramatic change for you because you've got the tower immediately following the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a big change. Uh, you might actually move with this uh, tower card. So something's going to take you completely out of that situation, um, you know, and put you into some brand new circumstance over there. And that wheel of fortune coming over there. So, uh, you know, whatever you're planning, it seems like the, uh, the wheel of fortune and the tower are both, um, you know, energies that are going to come and shift uh, all that around and maybe put you on a new path completely. So there is some big event coming in and it might mean that you need to travel for that particular job. So whatever you're planning right now, it seems like things are going to be maybe up, there's going to be some kind of upheaval really that changes you out of this particular situation you are in and moves you into something else. So there is that new offer coming in with that new job come, uh, you know, being offered to you or new money being offered to you. Uh, but the Wheel of Fortune, since you can't seem to make up your mind about what you want to do next, it seems like the Wheel of Fortune is going to come and make that decision for you. Uh, there's going to be big changes that come in for you, really big changes. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. Okay, so uh, you've got expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecy, sleep this night. So you are having problems sleeping, you are having a lot of anxiety, uh, you know, you've got that deception card of the seven of swords, this is the nine of air, which is the nine of swords, and that knight of swords. So you are waiting for some kind of decision, uh, and you are very, very anxious about it. You've got it here again with that nine of swords, so, you know, a lot of anxiety going on over there and expecting the worst really. So it looks like you're going to have to cut your losses and walk or whatever it is, you're going to have to make big changes. The end of a phase of situation, spiritual transformation, a time to move on. So you're going to have to leave the old behind 
and walk away from whatever's going on. So some big, big change coming in over here. This is a major arcana card. So, uh, you know, these are events that you cannot control. The Wheel of Fortune as well as the Tower card being events you cannot control. You're going to have to go with the flow and release the old and move on. You're very anxious about it, though. And then you're going to get a wish fulfillment over there with that Nine of Water or Nine of Cups. Your wishes come true. Uh, concerns fade away and uh, love of life. So whatever this big change is, it's going to bring in the Nine of Cups for you, a wish fulfillment, something that you need to complete or something that is, is being offered to you by the universe that is going to fulfill everything that you want. So, you know, don't be afraid to go with the change. Don't be scared of change. It's something that needs to come in in order for you to move in a very positive direction and maybe get out of this place where you're very, very stuck, uh, you know, working very, very hard. So it looks like the Wheel of Fortune is coming to take you out of that. And it, it's going to bring a big dramatic change, really, for you. But it's going to give you the Nine of Cups. It's going to give you that wish fulfillment. So always keep a positive attitude. You might need to let go of things in order for you to move forward. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.